Hey guys, welcome to Andy's Arcade and this is part number 19 of this Gauntlet Arcade Cabinet Scratch Build. Yes guys, in this video we are going to finish the control panel off. Now this ain't the final part of the series, no way, we got plenty of testing to do and all that business so we're going to concentrate on the control panel like I said in this video we're going to get it all up and running and then we're going to like probably have a little go on Gauntlet to see if all the joysticks and buttons are working fine and then probably on the next video we might invite some people around to have a nice four player game so yeah we got all that to look forward to so let's get the tripod set up and um, Let's get, let's get going on this because it's been a while now, it's been probably about four weeks and um, I just haven't had the time to do this control panel. Now I've got the time, now let's get it done. Well then guys before we start I had a t-shirt done and um, I'll just zoom back out a bit. Um, it's not the official Andy's Arcade t-shirt but it's a, it's a prototype um, so yeah got the old Andy's arcade at the back as you can see I hope you can see so I'll be wearing this top to do my builds and um, and all that business on our videos so hope you like it so first things first we need to let's open up the control panel let's lift them up um, I've installed um, another fan at the back of the cabinet um, exhaust fan I've got um, the original fan I put in was an exhaust fan, but now it's it's going to be the intake, get the air flow flowing into the cabinet, and then I put one a little bit higher up, um, so it can take all the um, hot air out of the cabinet. Because I noticed um, when I was playing Gauntlet, doing some play tests, and having the PC up and running, it was it was quite hot inside the cabinet. So. Um, I want to put another fan in it. I had to. Um, I didn't really want to, but I had to. So I'll just go and show you um, whereabouts it is on the back. Um, it's where the, uh, the cabinet's on a slight um, in different position as, as normal. So I can get round to the back. And there it is, guys. There's the um, the new fan. Um, the original one was down here. Um, so now that's the intake and that's the exhaust and I had a little play test with it the other day and it seemed to do the trick so yeah happy days on that no one's gonna see it <laughs> so um, yeah let's get the camera back on the tripod and then we're gonna open up we're gonna open up the control panel Also installed um, or put in a Z bracket, a midway Z bracket, um, similar to the original one they had on the Gauntlet cabinet, and I'll show you exactly what it does. I'll just open up the four latches. So technically then, we lift it up and we slot it down. But what I normally have is um, a cloth because I don't want to damage the um, the paintwork. So <laughs> hopefully I won't need to do this um, that many times. To be honest, just stick that in there and then I slide it in there and I'll show you guys in a minute there right so he's all up and running now let me just go around to the side of the um, control panel so you can see now the Z bracket um, it's, it doesn't fit exactly how it should but it does the job and to be fair once these joysticks and buttons are connected in I don't think I need to then lift the control panel up anymore only to have a little look inside 
um, to see how things are um, progressing and see if they're working fine. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed that um, I don't have to do that too many times. But anyway, um, let's go down here. Let's open up this um, coin door in a minute. And also, I've got the um, I have the uh, coin map installed as well. Um, it's not connected up because I'm not too sure how to wire it up to the iPad 4. Um, um, it says it needs five volts now. I I don't think it needs five volts. I I reckon it needs twelve volts to actually get this thing um, working. And there's no way am I putting twelve volts straight into the iPad. So um, if anyone's got any advice on how to connect a coin meter up to an iPad four um, with the co four coin mechs, um, if we can get one coin mech up and running, then surely we can get four up and running. Um, so yeah, if anyone out there who knows how to do it, please email me or leave a comment below because I would love to get that thing up and running. And as you can see, um, I've got a, a few tests before it goes back to zero 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 zero. So, um, yeah, love to get that up and running. I need to get that um, volume um, installed as well somewhere, um, glue it down, because um, at the moment it's a bit all over the place. Right, okay, there's all the um, stuff we need. So anyway, on to the control panel. And as you know, um, probably seen earlier, I've got one set up already. Um, now I'm using the Ultramark um, Ultra Stick 360 joysticks. Um, the reason why I went for them, if you haven't been following this build, is because they have no micro switches. And I just did not fancy hearing the clicky click click sound. I mean these ain't too bad to be fair. Um, so yeah, I went with these. Um, it's just like your average um, Xbox One, PS4 con controllers. Um, so yeah, it's, 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 it works great. Um, I Now I was going to put, and I'll just um, stop the video a minute. Now I was going to put these restrictor plates in. Um, and they're eight way. And um, so you don't get the... Um, the full rotation, you get the um, the eight way click, 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 and that's what it was doing, and that was annoying me so much. If we go to um, over here where my um, joysticks are, um, I think it is the Valkyrie joystick I left. Is it, no, it's not that one, is it the Alf? The Alf one, yeah, that's right. The Alf joystick, I left the. Um, Yeah, sorry, I left the restrictor plate on and um, it just seemed a bit more clicky than than normal. Um, I might have to get the uh, tripod back, uh, sorry, the camera back on the tripod to, to show you what I mean. So guys, here's the uh, joystick with the restrictor plate on, the white restrictor plate. And um, can you hear that? You imagine four joysticks going at the same time join me at the wall where this one is um, obviously a lot quieter and it's almost like having leaf switches for the joysticks now I don't know the original joystick uh, yeah I don't yeah I don't know the original joysticks the Atari joysticks how they feel how they look really um, I just it's guesswork at the moment until I can get my hands on <laughs> original arcade gauntlet machine and, and play it and, and feel the joysticks and see how they move. I'm just going by how how I think they should move. Um, so yeah, let's get on with it. Yeah, I've got the um, bolts and nuts and I've just spray painted the, um, the bolts because they were chrome and I, I want to spray paint them black so um, like the original so that's what I've done on the um, 
on the joysticks. Um, also with the, I bought some new washers. Oh, by the way, everything um, in this video, like joysticks, um, buttons, leaf switches, that I'll leave a link in the description where I've got everything. Um, I bought some uh, new washers as well um, from uh, Arcade Shop. If I can find them. Uh, here they are. They are slightly bigger. I think they're two and three quarters, I think. But they're slightly bigger than these and um, they fit my hole lovely. And um, like the original gauntlet ones, as, as people may be aware, that the, um, the washer is underneath the cabinet, not on top. So um, that's why I needed to trim these holes nice. Um, so the washer moves with the joystick um, so so I'm led to believe so right guys let's get on and then this I'm gonna put all the joysticks in and then I'm gonna put all the buttons in and then we're gonna wire it all up and um, let's do a bit of a play test I won't show you all, all, all of it but because um, it I could be about four hours doing all this um, but some I've had about four cups of tea and, and all that business so I just do um, Valkyrie um, so I'll get the uh, the camera set up a little bit better and uh, go for now. So um, I need to put some of these washers um, to raise the joystick off the um, the the, um, the metal plate um, because if I don't do it, then the um, then the washer does not spin round and the joystick does not spin round and oh, by the way I'm not too sure about the height of the joysticks uh, it seems to me a little bit too high now I have um, a, a spacer here and the main joystick there but if I didn't have that there then it would I think it would have been too small so if anyone's got the, the dimensions of the joystick please let me know and I can rectify it if I'm wrong but for now we'll leave them in so, if we take the joystick round the back here a minute, joystick, camera, <laughs> I'm losing it, sorry about this guys, I'm just eager to get this done now. So, I'm just going to, I'm just going to just take off the uh, masking tape um, for these uh, carriage bolts, or I call them joystick bolts. some music now can't we Let's take the um, taking the ball top off a minute. I only kept them on so I know because um, I got four joysticks and each joystick is signed to the character. So this is um, player two now, which is Valkyrie. So just take the um, washer off, 
put our new washer on, but before I put the washer on, I need to put this on the joystick. Now I've all um, George is uh, 3D printed the um, joystick ball tops, and um, basically I've sanded them down, and they're all ready to. Oh, I got to. Uh, I think I need to just trim that a minute. Yeah, all I need to do is put them through the heat gun to get them a little. Uh, get them shiny. Because when you rub plastic down, they get all dull and horrible. So I need to put a heat gun, and I'll show you that later on. In fact, I might have to do it pretty much soon. So um, let's just put the joystick on a minute. Uh, where's those washers? Looks like I need two. I think I need two washers. Two washers per um, joystick bolt. There's a certain way these joysticks go, and where the um, USB port is there, that is always facing bottom left. Or is it facing <laughs> bottom right? Is that right? So it's that way round. We may have this one. We're in the wrong way. Yeah, I think I got them around the wrong way. I'm going to have to just plug this up to the PC and see if I've got them around the wrong way. Yeah, I just had the um, the metal plate um, around the wrong way. It was that way round and it's supposed to be that way round. And now um, it's all okay. So, um, yep. So obviously, um, like I said earlier, the um, the USB port needs to be bottom left. So, um, just making sure. Yep, it's right in the right way. I'm just gonna put these in. Oops. Got to put the washer in. <laughs> I don't know what's the matter with me today. I'm thinking I am sort of getting wired now because this is the last part of the video, isn't it? So anyway, let's make sure he's around the right way. So bottom. Hang on. No, I do need to change that. I do need to change that round. It's still not right. It's still not right. Right, let me go and just change this a minute. 
No guys, I'm wrong. <laughs> I didn't have to change it. Oh, I'm just having a bit of a nightmare. Oh dear. Anyway, it's right. It is right. Oh, schoolboy error, what? It's so much easier off camera, by the way. <laughs> uh, right, okay. So that fits in there nicely. Okay. Like that. Yep. Just need my bolts. Which is in my box. Which is miles away. Okay, I'm organised. I've got the bolts. Let's get one in a minute just to hold it there. I just gotta get me spanner now. <laughs> Spanner. Get the other three bolts on there. Sorry, not bolts, nuts. I'm going nuts today, I think. I think I'm just itching to get this done now. Itching to get the uh, joysticks and buttons up and running. Because this is it, guys. <laughs> this is it. And these little um, washers I put in earlier just raises it off the metal plate, the joystick, so that the washer does move about with the joystick. Um, I tried it with one, it didn't work. Um, the washer wouldn't move, so that means if the washer didn't move, the joystick didn't move. And so, um, which, which was a pain. Just get these bolts nice and square. Okay, right, I'll just tighten them up. I think what I'll do, I'll get the, the next two joysticks in and then we're we're just um we'll get the buttons in next. And once the buttons are in then we're we'll run the wires and um wire it all up. So uh yeah, let's go and do that then.
Right guys, joysticks are in now. Um, I just put the ball tops back on just because I want to test it um, for the height differences between the um, the Warrior one with George's um, 3D printed ball tops, and I just want to. These are slightly smaller, so I want to just see how they they play um, with the smaller. Um, shaft on it um yeah so i'm gonna test it see how i get on with that also this cabinet is a right-handed cabinet um so most arcade games were left-handed and um so i the ones i played anyway were left-handed so it's just getting used to being right-handed for the controls and left-handed for the buttons so um yeah so that's all um connected up we're gonna connect now the USB um, cables to the um, joysticks and I don't know how we're gonna uh, you know cable management I'm not too sure at the moment but because um, I can't just have that dangling like that can we so we need to um, clamp him somewhere so we got enough movement for a uh, uh, we don't want it too tight, do we? So, um, yeah. So maybe I have to do it down the bottom. I don't know. I'm going to have to have a little look. So let's get the cables out. This is Valkyrie. Let's plug them in. Plug in straight into the um, bring it around here a minute. Plug it into the PC, which is down there. If I change, if I go the warrior in that one, Valkyrie in this one, I'll take that one out, I'll put that one in here. This white one is just for the um, the uh, coin door lights. So we got that sorted. Um, let's put the um, wizard and elf. No. I'll have a little look at uh, cable management. Do wizard. Now, my my buddy Andy from uh, Cheddar, um, he said to me that there could be a possible lag in the joysticks um, because door USB so hopefully um, when four players are playing at the same time there there won't be any lag if there is lag then I'm gonna have to buy some cables to um, basically wire up to the joysticks any um, you know you're up down left and right and then straight into the iPack and and then it becomes a keyboard stroke so hopefully I won't get any lag that way um, we'll see, we'll just have to, um, I don't think there will be lag because the design for um, you know 
four player game four joysticks you know um quite easily you know this setup is for four player um if if there was too much lag and at least joysticks won't be available and you wouldn't be able to you can go up to what i'm trying to say is you can go up to four joysticks and if there's a problem you'll only go up to two so i think four would be okay I hope I prove you wrong, Andy. <laughs> I hope I do. Um, so yeah, let's go and um, wire them up then, to connect them up to our USB. Um, let's do alpha a minute, and then we put them in the um, we we'll put it into the uh, PC. Um, I just didn't want too many wires in the cabinet. So, yep. So. Off is connected up. So I'll leave that to one side for a moment. So let's put them on our USB joysticks. So, Wizard is our number three joystick. Yep, they have their own unique ID. One, two, three, and four. As Warrior being number one, and ooh, Elf being four. So, so that's. Uh, I, sh I should really um, put a colour on these. Um, so I know exactly what cable is doing what. So if I get a problem, I know which one to take out. I might get some um, cable ties with the right colours on. That's what I might do. Um, Elf. So we've got the, all the joysticks are connected up now, which is wasn't that hard. Um, we'll have to reconfigure it in Meme, um, but for now they're all in. So um, my dog. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's what it looks like. We're going to do the buttons in a moment, but I'm going to just nip to the shop and see if I can get some um, cable ties with the. Um, the right colours so I can just put them around the cable so I know exactly uh, what cable is doing what so that's my plan but yep yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that a moment it's looking good all four joysticks are in ok guys I've picked some um, coloured uh, cable ties up. The only uh, colour I couldn't find was blue but um, I've got everything else so um, when I find some blue ones I'll um, just add them to Valkyrie's joystick cable so um, I'm going to go ahead and um, just put a few of these on now. Morning guys, i um, done all the cables now um, as you can see I put the cable ties to match the, uh, the colour of the characters um, obviously I didn't have the blue one so um, I hope that is okay um, I've connected it down here now um, just to keep it in place um, it's a lot better than I thought actually um, so yeah I've got the four joysticks and the iPad 4 connected all up um, they're going into the uh, PC nicely um, again we need to test it um, hopefully fingers crossed um, it will work so yeah on to the buttons now let's get these buttons done so guys I just um, put the control panel back now and on the Warriors uh, joystick I, I put the restrictor plate back on so I just put my, um, my cloth here it protects the uh, paintwork and, uh, and there you go right then so 
here's inside now um, warriors buttons are already connected in uh, sorry warrior buttons are already connected up so I don't have to worry about that all, all I need to worry about is um, actually um, tying them back in uh, orderly fashion so let's go and get the um, buttons and um, leaf switches a moment so guys there are just normal hat um, arcade buttons um, but the actual leaf switches I bought them from um, arcade shop uh, dot com and um, I think they're really good um, I didn't want the micro switches um, so they're nice and quiet very responsive and I love them so let's go ahead and let's get these um, buttons on of course we've got to get them in the right order as well so um, it's a bit difficult to film this Just do um, do Valkyrie first. And I've uh, got the uh, washer here as well. So now with the leaf switches in now, um, so we're going to be putting the leaf switches in soon, and um, we need to know which direction we need to put the leaf switch. So I want to be pointing down here like that. So I think that's the right location now. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So just tie them up. second one in from the front I can't wait to play test this guys I really can't um, but I'll tell you okay well, I'll tell you what guys I just noticed something now when I put this one in, is I can't actually put it in because the Z bracket is too low down, so it obviously needs to come up a bit. Well, that's annoying. That is annoying. So that's going to be the same on on Valkyrie's side as well. Well, I suppose it's going to have to do because. It's easy enough to take the button out. Right, so the magic button's in now. So why don't I just go ahead and I'll put all the buttons in, line them all up, and then um, we can put the leaf switches in. That's probably the best bet, isn't it, guys? Okay, guys, we're going to be putting the leaf switches in now. So um, go ahead and do it work out how to do it Never easy. I don't trust this Z bracket. I may want to lie it flat on the floor, but I don't want to unhook all the cables now. In. Just need to tighten that button up a bit. That's 
but there's no way I'm going to do that one now with this cloth on. Just no way. I'll get the rest in first. May have to adjust that slightly. Could interfere with the. Uh, Sorry, these cable ties a bit. So it's out the white. That's a bit better. Okay. Nice. Definitely much better than um, the micro switches. Trying to get a good angle, guys. It's really difficult now. <laughs> uh, what, what are we doing? Yeah, we we'll do that one right there. So, best way is probably that way and then slide down yeah that's, that's the one yeah it clicks in I got it I've sussed it guys <laughs> Don't know if that one actually is that way round or it shoots down there. I think it may shoot down there to be honest. I'll just go and have a look in the um on the plans in a minute. Yeah well it, it was actually the right way but um it doesn't really make any odds. I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot it down. I think I'll shoot it down that way. It's not going to interfere. I'm happy with that. Right now for these two, which is going to be a little bit awkward. So um, yeah, I'm going to have to do it. I'll take it up. Sit them in there. That's what I'm going to do. not touching it. I must have him the wrong way around. I think I've got him around the wrong way. Let's just test it. That's working. That's working. That's working but this one's not working for some reason. Is he not working? Does he go that way round? No. Why isn't that? Why is that not pushing then? 
put it like this in there. That's weird. Let's get the other one a minute. Right. Put them in. Okay, that one works. Oh, I think. Oh no. So, ah, right. Okay, I understand. Right. There is an upside down to these. Okay, that's that's where the button needs to be pushed in this way because you've got a little white plastic bit which pushes down when you push the button down okay so so in that way then that's um, confusing me a little bit now Needs to be firing that way. So I push button to. So if I rotate it that way. Okay. God, it's a nice Krypton factor, isn't it? No, I don't understand this one. Right guys, this one's ran the wrong way, um, so I just need to unscrew here and, and take these plates out, um, leaf switches out, and turn them around the right way, so I'm going to do that now. Right guys, they're all in now. They all work. The, um, the wizard one, I don't know what it was, it was ran the wrong way, but anyway, I've sorted it out now, so it's job done. Now let's start wiring up the uh, the buttons. So it's now a pain in the backside now because this Z bracket here is in the wrong place because it's going to hit these joysticks. So uh, what a pain! But anyway, I'm going to just have to wire them up like this for now. So I'm just going to connect the blue ones up here. I'm going to go for blue for the, the bottom of the um, leaf switch and the ground would be the top ones. I suppose it didn't really make any odds which way around it is. Okay, let's go and get the ground wires. Now, I haven't done the daisy chain, let me put my hat on there. I haven't done um, daisy chain. Simple reason why is the fact that I don't want 32 crimps all hanging around doing nothing. So I'm just doing eight individual ones. And that's how I'm going to do it. Should put the ground ones on first, really, shouldn't I? Well, I got getting to that stage now. I just want it done. Oh, I say plus. 
I should have done it around, oh, I did it around the wrong way and I, ah, oh, never mind. We live and learn, don't we? <laughs> and it didn't help this control panel being upright like this. It does not help. Oh, it's just a bloody pain, isn't it? Oh. Why? They're not easy to take out either. <laughs> oh, it's a bloody nightmare. Let me just start again. I might as well just wire it like this. Oh, it's starting to annoy me now. <laughs> Really is. I'm sorry if this is really a rubbish video. <laughs> but I'm just itching to play it. I know. I'm not that far away. Yeah, I've got no chance getting them off. Okay. That's that, that's that, that's that one, that one can go back on, it's actually easier to take them, take them off, that's it, now it is anyway. Okay, I'll do cable management later, I think, because um, I want to see how it all fits, really. So we put this um, Valkyrie's joystick back in. There you go. So guys, I actually changed my mind. Um, I actually daisy-chained the ground cables. Um, in the end, it worked out... Um, easier than actually doing um, 12, is it 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, sorry, 8 separate um, ground wires. So yeah, I, I just did the uh, daisy chain in the end, which, you know, um, I got from um, Arcade World. And the ones I didn't use in the end, I just snipped off. And um, <clears throat> I ran him into a separate, uh, there is there, um, a little box connector, um, straight into um, my ground connection down down there. Um, that's what I did with the controls. Um, yeah, it works fine, um, I'm hoping. <laughs> so um, let's get and uh, connect the, um, the wizard and the elf joystick now. It's only uh, four more cables, so let's get uh, let's get into it right now. Oh, and also connected the um, Valkyrie's uh, button up as well. The two buttons, and um, I've sort of cable tied them up. Um, I'm not too sure how we're going to run it at the moment, but. Um, We'll link the two together like that and we'll tie them, tie them up somewhere. But yeah, let's go and do it. Guys, all the wiring is done now on the buttons. So if you want to take a look now and see what we've done. I've um, tried to uh, do it as neat as I possibly can. Um, that's, that's the best scenario now. Um, it works fine. It looks tidy. Um, I'm happy with that, and at the end of the day, hopefully we won't need to, um, you know, uh, open this up too often. So um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, from the queen, queen door uh, view, 
um, as you can see, the cables are quite, um, well you can't hardly see any cables really can you? So that's the main thing, you can see the coin counter, you can get to the volume and um, yeah I'm happy with that guys. So let's uh, put it back on the tripod and um, let's flip the uh, control panel back, um, clamp them down, shut the coin doors and then um, I may do these joysticks. Bear in mind this one's still got the restrictor on, uh, the restrictor plate. I'm keeping them on for now because I'm going to do a play test. Um, uh, on the next video I'm going to get three buddies round and um, we're going to have a four player game and um, I need some feedback on um, on that joystick there, whether we keep the restrictor plate on or we just keep um, um, like a 360 joypad. Uh, th yeah, 360 uh, joystick. So yeah, don't know yet. Um, so I'm gonna get some buddies round, and they're gonna uh, play test it with me, and go from there. Right there. So we've got plenty of room. Just making sure I can get this up. And sat there all nice. Sure the cables are not in the way. There is a cable in the way here. I'll just detect that. A bit. Nothing worse and can't get into the clamps because cables are in the way, wires are in the way. So, coin doors locked, coin doors locked, control panels on. So, now let's get the heat gun on and let's try and get a good finish on the joysticks that George has sent me, the ball top. So, uh, Let's get that done, let's get them on the, uh, the control panel and then we are done for the build. Then it is play test time. <laughs> right then, let's go ahead and do it. The guys got uh, George um, lovely 3D printed uh, ball tops um, with the Atari logo. Now I've sanded them down the best I possibly can. Um, I've washed them, they've been left for drying for weeks and weeks and weeks um, so all it is now is get the heat gun on and just try and um, get a shine on these ball tops a bit like the uh, the Warriors one um, so uh, we're not looking for perfection but we're looking for a, a sort of an old look style so I'm gonna get the heat gun out now and we're gonna do one together yes we are going to do one right now. So guys, we've got the uh, ball top on a drill bit. Um, so um, it's easier to um, rotate around. Um, I've got the heat gun. So we're going to do it live on the camera. Hopefully the camera will pick it up. Um, so I've got it on 400 degrees. And we've got it on... medium fan setting so we'll let that warm up 
and then we can uh, we'll go for it. No mistakes. <laughs> I can't have it too close to the camera, so I'll have to zoom in a bit. Alright. We'll start off with the neck first. Just heating, we're just heating the plastic up, that's all we're doing. And then it'll start to turn. More fan pressure. You can see now it's starting to go now, can't you? I think that one's done. Not too bad, is he? Just so, uh, it's quite hard to get it perfect, but um, I'm happy with that. On to the next. You can tell the difference, I'll just show you now. <laughs> you can certainly tell the difference so I'm happy with that one so on to the next one guys I'll probably do that off camera because it was pressure on me but we'll let that cool down for a moment and then uh, I can use the um, drill bit for the next one Morning, guys uh They've cooled down now, so hopefully we can um, put them on. Um, I've done a little spacer there, um, just to bring it up a little bit, because if I put this um, joystick in like that, it's slightly too small, so we had a little spacer to go with them. I've cut them down, and um, they're about right. They are about right. They're um, quite responsive. Um, this short, so um, I don't. I didn't want them any higher than um, what we got them now. So uh, we're just gonna simply just squeeze them on. Uh, we're not gonna glue them because if I ever need to take uh, the joystick out, if it's faulty, at least I can be able to take the topper off. Um, so that's my way of thinking. So we just slide them in. And he sits there nice and flush. So yeah, he does rotate. 
and there's nothing I can do about that. Um, same on these joysticks really on the bar top, um, they rotate as well so um, I don't know what the original joysticks were like so I can't really say um, until I actually get my hands on an original gauntlet cabinet. So yeah, so that's two joysticks done guys, um, just waiting for the um, the um, the spacer um, little piece down here which I've done the heat gun so they're cooling down at the moment um, which are here um, so I can't put these joysticks on just at the moment but I'll go ahead and do them anyway and then um, we'll set the buttons up so guys yes all the joysticks are in now the ball tops are on that's the main thing now it is done it is complete the build is complete that's all I can say. It is done. Whew. Not quite over yet. Um, we need to um, do some testing on the joysticks, the buttons and everything like that. So um, on this video now, the rest of this video, we're going to test each character. Um, uh, set all the controls up. I've already done it on um, Warrior and um, Valkyrie. Um, I haven't done it on Wizard or Elf, so we're going to need to go into the main settings and, and set them up. The joystick should be configured. Um, if not, we can do it then. Um, and then configure the buttons. And then um, what we'll do is we'll start a game. We'll start with Warrior, make sure um, we're going to play test this, make sure all the um, inputs are correct on the joysticks and the two fire buttons, make sure they're uh, running the right way. Um, once we've done the test on all four characters, then what I'll do then is play a game um, on each character. Um, now I won't film it all, <laughs> but I'll, I'll film um, me just playing each character, and making sure everything works right. If I'm happy, then we'll end the video, and then we'll do the final video um, where I invite three buddies round and we are going to have a four player game on Gauntlet <laughs> but that's next video but let's go ahead and let's get this tested let's get this set up this on the tripod the camera I'm itching to get it done now so um, let's 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 do it so first things first let's, uh, let's do the um, the inputs for the wizard and elf uh, make sure we we input this game first of all. I can I can do it um, for going it to later on. Um, so I'm on the on on the keyboard now. I've just hit tab and it goes into the main settings. So uh, we want to go down to player three, and we're gonna go we're gonna hit enter on the keyboard and then we're gonna press up on our joystick. Um, yeah, I didn't input that correctly then, so I'll do that again. It might be me. Yeah, joystick three up. And it should be joystick three down. And then joystick three left. Okay, and then joystick three right. Okay, so then we need. Um, I'm not too sure which way around it is, but we'll go for um, button one as fire button. And then um, button two is magic. It's magic. And then let's do um, elf now, player four. So we press up on the joystick. Yep. And then down. Done that wrong. Down. I need to press escape to clear the uh, config. If you make a mistake, down. Oh, I've done it again. Yeah, it keeps going. It's it's not for some reason the 
joystick down isn't working on ALF, which could be a nightmare. Now, I don't understand why it's not working, but I think we'll just bypass that and go left a moment. So it says joystick left, joystick four left, joystick four up. Something's not quite right here, guys. Let's get it to right. The right works. So we've got up and right. <laughs> so let's go left now. Still doing it. Why is that not working? Why is the elf not working? <sighs> so we got up, we got right, but we haven't got down. Joystick down, joystick four right. That's not right, is it? For some reason, I'm going to have to wiggle this joystick out a minute. That's it. This is the problem, see. I mean, I'm not convinced on these joysticks at the moment because um, I don't know, they just don't seem responsive enough. Let's put this back on a minute. Oh, bloody hell. Only, only, only one way to find out in it is, is to test it. Now it's all set in, and let's just do the buttons a minute. So fire. Right, button two is B. Okay, this um, and then the start is E. Okay, I think it's all set up now. So I'm going to insert coin for Elf. Um, so let's go and get some coins, eh? So I'm going to drop a coin in um, Elf. Off this slot a minute. You can see me. Okay, that's good news. The coin works as it should because we've tested it already. So, the start, have I got it around the right way? Start button. Let's find out. Welcome. We have. Okay, that's good. Let's just test the joystick a minute. See the joystick down doesn't work. Look, I'm pressing down guys and it's not working. So why is that? Fire button? So let me just take this out. Let's take this joystick out a minute. That clearly does not go down that. I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. If we go into meme settings a minute, if we pause the game, go back to um and we go to input general and go to player four. And so let's go press up. No. It's still not working. We're up. It's going up right. Oh my god. Up. Okay. Down. Okay, there's something wrong with this joystick. Okay. Left. And then right. Okay, right. So, let's see if we're working it. No, joystick's not working, guys. This joystick is not working. Hmm. Let's try wizard a minute. 
Let's drop a coin in wizard. Let's start. Welcome, wizard. Yeah, wizard, no problem. Look at that. Wizard, fire. Yeah. Treasure, 100 points. Shots do not hurt other players yet. Okay, wizard, no problem with wizard at all. Let's just try um, Valkyrie and Thor. Just dropping some coins in a minute, guys. Well done, Valkyrie. Valkyrie, yeah, beautiful. Magic button, yeah. And then Warrior. Well done, Warrior. Now this is Warrior with the... Um, Restrictor plate on, and to be honest with you, the restrictor plate, I'm getting more. It feels much better. Um, in the Ooh. in the response. So, all four characters are on the screen, but Alf, for some reason, does not want to go down, does he? Fault. Look here. There's a fault in the joystick, I think. I may have to reset. No, it's down now. So, P. No, he's working. No, he's working, guys. <laughs> right, let's put the joystick back on a minute. I don't know what happened there. Like I said, I might have to. I might have to use the restrictor plates. Let me get you around that. I'll tell you what, you couldn't you couldn't play this game with an L C D. Because if you're on the side of the um if you're on the side if you're on the side of the uh, screen, you know what LCDs are like. Sometimes you lose that picture quality, but with CRT, it stays the same. So, yeah. So, guys, I think what I need to do now is just reset it all. And um, I tell you what, I do like I do like the restrictor plate in there. But it's more. more loud. Ah, I'm gonna have to get some advice guys, I really do. Uh, at the end of the day I'd rather have the playability than, than the sound. Oh, if you guys got a, an original gauntlet arcade at home, let me know if um, how it feels and how it sounds, these joysticks. I do quite like the fact that they're like this. I mean, they play they play okay. I just need to do a field test tonight, so I'm going to do that next. So, guys, we're going to now test um, each character. Now, we're going to start with Warrior with the restrictor plate in. So, um, <clears throat> I'm going to head and, uh, go ahead and put the coin in. So we know that the coin mech works for. Um, warrior, so that's great. So um, let's go and play test it. Well done. Treasure, one hundred points. Say keys to open doors. Guys, you join me on level 24, and um, <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but the corner potions I've got. I'm actually 
doing quite well. Oh, I thought it was. Oh. I was doing quite well. Um, joystick's not too bad to be fair with the restrictor plate on. So, um, yeah, Warrior's okay at the moment. So, um, I'm quite happy with um, the outcome of the joystick. It's quite responsive, to be honest, but uh, it's a little bit noisy. But um, this is at the end of the day, I want to be able to play the game. Um, I, I forgot all about the joystick as I progressed in the game, so I'm I'm happy with that. So there's a success on on Warriors joystick. So join me with Valkyrie is our next test. So guys, we're gonna try um, Thyra the Valkyrie now, um, which is player two. So um, <clears throat> this joystick has no restrictor plate on, so you know. Let's, let's see if it plays as good as Warriors. The coin's jammed. Okay, let's go. Well done. Treasure, 100 points. Okay, if it feels okay. Um, again, it's not as responsive as with the restrictor plate on. Uh, if I give it a, see what I mean by it, look at it. Just, I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but um, Valkyrie is actually heading diagonally when I press down. Um, they need to open the door. Now, I am slightly hitting the joystick to the bottom left. Um, I didn't mean to do it, but it's just there's no restrictor plate on there, so it's a 360 degrees joystick. And you, you know, do I like these? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, let's carry on playing. What I'm trying to say is my aiming isn't as accurate as with the restrictor plates on. But anyway, let's carry on playing. No! Yeah, at the moment, um, I'm thinking now, I know the restrictor plate is a lot louder than, than this, but at the end of the day, I, I want to be able to play the game uh, without thinking, oh, I should have put these restrictor plates in. But um, yeah, at the moment, I want restrictor plates in all four joysticks. But anyway, I'm going to carry on playing. <laughs> Save potions for later use. Well guys, just finished the um, Valkyrie one now and um, yeah, it's just joystick don't seem, it's too responsive. Um, so I'm having a great deal in, um, well, great difficulty in um, trying to target on enemies, diagonal and stuff like that. So, um, on to the wizard now, Merlin. So, um, same joystick without the restrictor plates, same as they're off as well. So, I um, just want to test it, see if they all work, and um, we know that all four joysticks are working. So, uh, let's get on, uh, let's do wizard. Right, guys, on to the wizard now. Um, I just had a little brainwave, and probably what I'd do is on Elf's joystick, I'll probably put the uh, restrictor plate back on to the joystick so the warrior and the elf has the restrictor plates on so um, on the next video when uh, we get um, three other friends round to test this uh, cabinet they can tell me whether they like the restrictor plates or not I think that's the best bet and then um, um, on the outcome we will then um, put 
um, either restrictor plates on or keep the 360 joysticks as they are. Um, but personally, I think the restrictor plates is the way to go. All right, let's clean up. It's a wizard. Welcome. Pressure 100 points. Yep, okay, everything seems to work fine. No, you didn't. Except for the joysticks. <laughs> yeah, it's just too... Uh, too responsive for my liking. Say a key to open doors. Well, let's, let's go in this one. Save potions for later use. Guys, um, oh, let me just put my hat back on. Um, the restrictor plate is now um, put on to the um, ELF joystick, um, so you can hear it now. It's an eight way restrictor one, and um, the warrior one is a circular restrictor plate. So, um, again, I don't know what to get at the moment, but we're going to play off now with this restrictor plate on and then we're going to see how it plays. Hopefully it will respond a little bit better than um, the ones without the restrictor plate. So let's, uh, let's insert coin. Welcome. Treasure 100 points. Yeah, at the MOOC, guys, this is... Um, they need to open doors. It is much better. I mean, it's... it's You you know you're running diagonal. Um, oh, yeah. I'm going to... I like it already, to be fair. Um, fantastic. Yeah, it is much better with the... Um, with the restrictor plate. Now I have played, I have played Elf without the um, restrictor plate, and um, it, it, the thing with Elf, he's he's very fast, and it's it's quite difficult to control him without the restrictor plate on, and um, it, it's just look all those ghosts. <laughs> um, it's much better. Um, it's actually responding really, really well. So. Um, I think I may have to just put the restrictor plates on. Oh my god, let's get out of here. Save potions for later use. Another thing I might have to do as well is to um, stop these joysticks from rotating around. Um, I may have to look into it and sort of glue it in position so they will not um, rotate around. So they, they, they'll still move, but. Um, they won't rotate round because I want the Atari logos always facing in the right way and at the moment they're all, all over the place because they keep rotating round. Where would they do that on the original one? I, I don't know. Um, so, only time will tell. So, um, let's, let's just carry on playing. So I'm loving this right now. Well guys, that is it. We have managed to complete this build. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this is not the last video of the series. No guys, it's not the last. But the build is complete. Um, still, we've got to do a couple of things with the joysticks. Um, Finalise what we're going to do on them. Um, and also, I want to be able to get the coin um, meter working. If I just open it up, we want to get that bad boy up and running. Um, I've got a few stickers um, to go on the back of the cabinet. Um, so 
again little little things like that needs to be done but the build is complete guys it's been long winded well over a year now and I am happy very very happy indeed with the outcome I mean this cabinet is looking fantastic guys I, I, you know I'm not gonna go into it too much now guys but we're gonna do the finale um, in the next video of this series so um, yeah that is it so guys I know that is, it, it was a bit of a long winded um, on the joysticks but um, you know you've got to get it right and I've, I need I need to go to Arcade Club um, and that's the only place I know that has a gauntlet original gauntlet cabinet there um, with the original joysticks some are original joysticks so just to get a feel of the joysticks and, and see how the cabinet compares to my cabinet <laughs> yeah so um, <clears throat> I'm going to team up with RetroTech 100 Kieran and his crew from the um, RetroTech 100 Facebook group um, we're going to be at um, Arcade Club in Leeds on August the 31st which is a Saturday so guys I'm gonna be there Kieran and RetroTech 100 and here's Posse gonna be there <laughs> and so will this not my cabinet but don't know. Yes, guys, like I said, we're going to be there at Arcade Club 31st of August. So be there. Join us. <laughs> anyway, guys, that'll do on this video. <sighs> Don't know what to say. I'm just <laughs> off smack to the moment. It's taken me a long time to do this. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe and all that business. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.